Hey everybody, Dirk the Engineer here. Uh, I just finished installing my limit switches and I'm doing a little bit of a repeatability test. Um, just wanted to show you uh, how repeatable this thing is. I mean, I'm within a quarter of a thousandth, you know, usually. It does have a little, it does seem to have a little bit of backlash in the system, but it's not bad. So, um, so that goes to 0 0.25. Um, either I'm not square perfectly on on that or something like that that's causing that error or I might have a little bit of error in my uh, in my system or maybe it's related to the gear meshing um, on the rack but um, I have to figure that issue out because that's supposed to be a quarter of an inch dead on so it should be reading zero uh, on there but it looks like it's about 20 thousandths shy if I go back reference home I'm back right on a thousandth and it kind of drifts back down about a quarter uh, or so depending on your vantage point on this thing so um, that's obviously due to backlash go back again I'm right back on where I was reading before 35 thousandths go to home there I am right back on one thousandth and drifting back down about a quarter so I, this thing is so dead on accurate now, or at least repeatable. I wouldn't say accurate. It is repeatable. So I guess that makes it precise, not accurate. But uh, anyway, uh, do it again. Right on 1,000th, then it'll drift back down about a quarter. right back on a thousandth and it'll drift back down about a quarter so uh, I'm getting the same result every time this is a very very uh, accurate way of doing the homing uh, it's I think quite a bit more accurate than the uh, limit switch or the uh, proximity switch so I just wanted to show you how I have this set up here let's get that in focus alright so the pogo pin is mounted in the nylon screw which isolates it from ground. There is a small bracket that we made that the pogo pin touches which is ground. So whenever the pogo pin which is set uh, with a pull up resistor to about 2 or 3 volts or so hits that ground it goes to zero which triggers a signal in the uh, um, in Mach 3 to tell it that it's uh, on or off. So uh, as I said, very, very accurate way to do things, very inexpensive, um, and I think it's a very good way, uh, a very good system that I've got now. So, uh, anyway, hope you uh, find this enjoyable. Remember to rate, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to you later.